Hey crafters, for today's DIY, we will be making this farmhouse decor. You can find the materials used in the description below. Let's begin. I am going to be using four small picture frames and I will be removing the backs of each picture frame. Now you can remove the small clip that is on the frame with a screwdriver and the little screw just put it back on so it doesn't look ugly and has a little hole. Moving on to the crates, now you can paint them a similar color like your frames and I will be putting the colors used in the description below and I will also include the links. I started painting my crate in a bark brown acrylic paint and then it followed by a parchment. Lastly, I added a java chalk acrylic paint. I painted all of the sides except for the back and the reason for this is so the glue would be able to stick better to the wood. And of course, don't forget to paint the bottom. Set aside to dry and now you can move on to your frames. On my frames, I only used Java Cafe acrylic paint. To glue your frames together, you can use E600 glue, which I have also included the link in the description below. And do the same with your crates. I'm clipping down with these clips I actually found at Dollar Tree, which are pretty awesome. Now we're ready to glue our crates to our frames and I will also be using E600 glue. Now I will add this home wooden sign that I found at Michael's and I thought it's super cute and they also carry other words as well. Set aside to dry for a few hours. Inside your crate, you can add two small vases. I found mine at Target. And for the middle of your crates, you can add foam. I'm adding onion grass to my little vase, and these are super cute. I will also be including this item in the description below. Now this is the fun part where you get to play around with the flowers and have them arranged in any way you want. And if you like some of the flowers used in this project, make sure to check the description below. I loved the results of this farmhouse decor. Make sure you subscribe, like, and turn on your notifications for more DIYs. See you next time, crafters!